APC Ticket What Buhari Told Osibanjo, Tinubu, Amechi, others. Hello, my wonderful people. By now, you know those who are all rooting for this very position. Buhari now feeling like the big boy. Of course, he's the one there who everyone is looking forward to succeed. Um, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. APC ticket. What Buhari told Osibanjo, Tinubu, Amechi, others. President Mohamed Buhari has told presidential aspirant and the ruling of Progressive Congress to go to the field and sell their candidacy to the electorate. Saturday Punch has learned. A presidential source told Punch correspondent that President Buhari did not ask any of those who consulted him to either run or drop the ambition. Rather, the president was quoted to have advised them not to compromise the integrity of APC and the federal government in their campaigns. So far, no fewer than eight aspirants in the ruling of Progressive Congress have declared their interest in taking over from President when his tenure expires on May 29, 2023. The aspirants are the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, a former Governor of Lagos State, Shiwaju Bola Mertinubu, Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, Governor of Ebony State, David Omahi, Governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, a businessman, Benga Oluwakwe, a former Governor of Imo State, Roger Shakorocha, and Dallas Chima. Saturday Punch also learned from reliable sources that the Akiti State Governor Kayade Fayemi would declare his aspiration at the end of the ongoing Ramadan. The presidency source said that Buhari spoke differently to the aspirant when they met with him. It will be difficult for any of them to claim to have gotten the president endorsement at the moment. The source said, I think the president was being careful when he met with each of them on their presidential aspiration. He specifically told them to be careful in their campaigns. He also asked them to go ahead with their campaign and that he would be watching them from afar. Besides that, he asked them if they were popular enough to win and if they felt they could deliver the presidency to the ruling party. He exchanged all, he expected all of them in the affirmative. The president also interrogated them on their programs and if they equally believe in his administration or not. Asked what some of the aspirants told the president, the source said all they said was that they want to contest the presidency on the platform of APC and that they would need his support. They did not ask for his permission. But I think only one of them actually sought his permission and asked if he could join the race. I will not reveal the name of that candidate so that you do not think that the man has the president's support. Recall that President Mohamed Buhari has expressed fears that his preferred aspirant might be eliminated if he was known now. President Buhari said this during an exclusive interview with Chinese television in January on the 5th precisely, when noting that he had no special interest in the 2023 elections. If it is not my problem, so why will I be bothered? He asked about the next presidential election, adding, I am not interested. I believe whoever wins the polls should be sworn in as the next leader of this great country. So Buhari apparently has no favorite, yeah? And um, he's looking forward to whoever succeed him, so be it. He's not particular on whoever will be coming on board. As it stands today, President Mohamed Buhari has told all the aspirants to go prepare, has told every one of them to go get set and um, deliver their mandate. Um, we've seen a lot of them come out, and you can tell vividly, clearly well, that APC has already zoned its presidency to the south. Not a single northerner in APC has indicated interest. That should tell you that APC has zoned its presidency already 
to the south. But for the People Democratic Party at the moment, there is no zoning arrangement, so the floor is open for all. Well, the early matters are on ground. A lot of persons are indicating their interest, and um, like you can hear, the president has asked them to go prepare and um, win the people over um, and, you know, come up with the mandate and um, get it delivered. Well, like they say, talk is cheap. We'll wait and see because every one of them, if not all, how, how do we really know they are the man for the job? A few days ago, we reported to you that there was a leak audio of um, Ruti Miyamichi who was running around the stadium. And um, the audio was he, he's, um, he, what he thinks about Nigeria. And what he said there was quite shocking, rather to say, very alarming. The man who wants to become Nigeria's president does not see any potential or opportunity, possibility of the country coming out of any situation, anything at the moment. And he said, whatever happens, he can't be bothered, that there is no good coming out of the country. That's a man who wants to rule and lead the country then one begins to wonder, do they have heart? Do they believe in what they are professing to others? That's where the question lies. Are they really sure, determined, ready to take a, make, to take a plunge for the country and bring the country to a desired destination? The answer is left for us all to answer. The primaries are around the corner. INEC have released their timetable and INEC has asked them all to go out and, um, you know, political parties to go ahead and to prepare, you know, um, to have the elections. Well, you can tell very closely and very vividly well that um, they have between May and June the 3rd to have concluded primaries. So that's why every, um, you know, uh, words being said in the secret are all coming out in the open because um, at that time, Everybody is expected to have conducted their primaries. Then there will be no hiding place. And everyone who is taking part in the election will be known. So my people, the elections are around, full swing, and everybody is getting ready and prepared. But Nigerians, please, let's not be fooled again. These people have done it over and over again. They come to us with ambiguous mandate, huge promises. But trust me, none of them, if not all, truly believe in what they are saying, like Routine's leaked audio. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you to have a lovely and a fantastic day. Remember, you've got a voice. Bye for now.